Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Welcome to our newest deck project. We're in a place called Fox Island, Washington, which is actually an island connected with a bridge to uh, Gig Harbor. All right, so welcome to our channel. Thanks for coming. And if you like this video, don't forget to please click that subscribe button. We're still only around 17%, if I'm not mistaken, of you that watch these videos actually subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost you anything. You're not gonna get any kind of junk emails from us or anything like that. Uh, it's just showing our, our amount of people that actually subscribe to our channel. So uh, it's not a subscription, it's just like a, like a follow on social media or something like that. All right, guys, so basically what we have here is we had an existing deck that we tore out last week and we kept the patio cover. We have it temporarily suspended with some pressure treated posts. We're keeping that. We're not going to tear it down or, or replace that. It's still in pretty good shape. Basically, we're building a 16 by 16. It's very low to the ground. Uh, it's only 14 inches off the ground, so we're not getting a building permit for this deck. And we're gonna use some footing blocks for support and a couple of um, cement anchors over some existing concrete that we have as well. So right now what we're doing is we're prepping the house and we're getting ready to put some ledgers on the house. And then once we do that, we're gonna identify where our footings go and we're gonna dig those in the ground at the proper elevation. We have a Stabila green laser out today that we're gonna be using. And we also have their new electronic plate level which we're gonna do a review on uh, here in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And it's pretty cool, it's a electronic, it has a spring-loaded clip in it, so you can kind of stick it in between places and get it to stay. And then you can also put it in level, out of level, whatever you need as far as elevation goes. So it's kind of a cool product, something new that they just came out with, so we're excited to use that. But for now, um, that's basically all I have for you. We came in, uh, tore this thing down. We've been having a little bit of a hot spell here in Washington State. Hot for us is 95 degrees. Uh, we're, we're hitting those thresholds today. So uh, we got a fan going, got a little mister system if we need it. And uh, we're just gonna see if we can't get some framing up and go from there. Normally when we are tearing down a deck, usually the ledger boards are cut into the house. On this particular deck, there wasn't, they had a two by two as a ledger. And there wasn't a lot of fasteners in the side of the house. So the siding's in excellent condition. So instead of cutting open the house and exposing everything, what we did is we put a layer of waterproof membrane tape on the house. There's actually, it's, a, it's kind of a lap siding effect, but it's very narrow. So there's like a two and a half inch part sticking out and then it recesses a half an inch for about an inch. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set our ledger board right on top of the siding. And then we're gonna fasten to the, the projections of the siding so we get a good solid attachment. I know that there's a solid member to attach to, we're gonna hang two by six. This deck is very low to the ground, it's very thin. So there's only 14 inches of play. And I need 13 inches of that to, for my decking and my framing. Well, actually 12, but then I need a one inch standoff base. So I need 13 inches of material to be able to build this deck and I only have a 14 inch gap. So I only have about an inch to play with. So what I'm doing right now is I have a Stabila uh, green laser. It's a LAR160G. We've already shot grade once, but now we're gonna use it to identify where we wanna put our ledger. I'm gonna snap a line on the house so we can figure that out. And we're also gonna use it so when we put in these footing blocks, we can kind of uh, get those to the proper elevation so that we're not putting them too high. And then we're gonna put an adjustable base in those and then our beam is gonna sit right on those footing blocks. So where I live in my state, our frost depth is very, very, very shallow. It might be 12 inches. And since this deck is only 14 inches off the ground, we're not getting a building permit. So we're gonna use these footing blocks instead of pouring concrete or using helical piles, which would have been a total 
kind of a nightmare getting in here and bringing the extra equipment and all that stuff. So that's why we're choosing to do it this way. So we're gonna anchor to existing concrete. I've already verified the depth, the thickness of that. And we're gonna use some Simpson strong tie products to some stainless steel uh, Titan bolts to anchor down our four by six brackets to the concrete. And then we're gonna use these oversized 18 inch round footing blocks, which gives us a good uh, compaction and it makes it so that we have a good load bearing capacity for our deck. So that's what's up right now. Gonna identify some lines and then we're gonna start digging these uh, footing blocks into the ground. little quick tip for you we got a two by six here right but really not two by six you take the measurement of what it really is right here we got a five and five eighths right so I'm gonna take my line here where I want my top of my board measure down five five eighths and the only reason I'm doing this is because well I'm by myself right now doc had to go do something Otherwise, I'd have him hold the other side of the board. But since he's not here, this little fancy guard dog three and a half inch screw is gonna work as that extra hand. So see, I can take and set that down there on. If my board will cooperate with me. <laughs> okay, that's already holding me up there. Of course, it's a little long, so I'm gonna have to probably put another screw in for a hole. Let me go down here. Let's put one in the middle, one in the end. Same thing. And if you had something a little heavier than this two by six, you can go as far as put a block down there. Block a two by four or whatever you got laying around to hold your board up in place. Yeah. That should hold me good enough temporarily so I can grab my other screws in. At least gets me close enough to where I can bring it to my line now. And like that, all by myself, I was able to put up this board. guys thanks for watching today i really appreciate it if you learned a little something about uh, foundations for a deck or a quick and easy way to do it don't forget to click that subscribe button hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content which is three days a week sometimes i do some end of days as well let me know what you guys think of those by leaving a comment below don't forget to like our videos thanks for watching guys have a great day